Hello everybody, I'm Matt B. Welcome back to more Banner Saga. We have to, uh, go. So let's get going. What was I doing? Ah, I stopped at the Godstone, Dingleheimer. Now we're going down the snowy mountain. People are happy. Everything's great. Everything's good. There's some dredge right there. Uh, in the distance, you see smoke rising from the trees. Dredge aren't known for setting fires, says Moger, but it does get their attention. We'd use fires like that to lead them along the Great Wars. Uh, yeah, but they they wised up to that after a while, interjects another warrior. Or it could be someone trying to get our attention, claims Fasolt. The other group from Schlid were sent this way. No matter how you look at it, investigating will cost time. Uh, I'll check it out myself. <clears throat> the sounds of fighting head compel you to crash through the foliage. Sightstuffing Varl and Dredge bodies along the way, you burst from the scene of carnage. A vast number of Varl surrounded by Dredge. Explanations can wait. You charge into the fight. Darn right. Let's get him. Uh, Gris, need to level up. I will, oh, be your level one. Um, I still want to. I want to try you out. Do I have any other items? No. Ugh, God, you gotta try me out, I guess. Whatever. Eric, you're too powerful. I'll be your one kill away from promotion. Luden. Okay. Let's. How. How do. Okay, there. Oh, Haken needs to promote. But I do not have enough renown, probably. Alright, face alt. I think that's what I called you. Face alt, fast alt. Face alt. Salty face. See, this is. This is what I like. I like seeing things more like this. Morale declined. Sorry. Just trying to help. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's put you over th there. Because you kind of slow. Yes. Probably. Okay. Everything else is fine. Pill oh, pillage. What? Okay. Just going straight for the pillage. Sounds good to me. Um, let's have you go there. And then you can murder this one instantly. How wonderful. Yeah, bring it on. I am Haken. You cannot hurt me. Shield, go, break, boom. Ah, ah. Oh, you think that's going to hurt me? Well, it did, just not very much. So, I'll show you. Roar. I forget your name. Gunolf. Gunolf comes. Comes to destroy. Ow! Stop hitting Haken. Okay, here. You have a lot of strength, so I'm gonna make you not do so much damage. There. Now you are wimpy weakling. Are you gonna do your weird vibrating sword thing? See if I care. All right, Mr. Provoker. Let's. Uh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Gotcha. You guys are so mean. Prepare to be slagged and or burned. Uh, no one out there. There. That's a good place. Yeah. Hey, God. Oh, okay. Decided to go for the armor there. Uh, hey. Let's go over here. Let's break this dude's shield doors. Uh huh. You're silly. I'll. Yes. I would prefer this guy to be stopped before he does whatever the heck he's doing. Oh, broken butt. Oh, I don't want you to walk on on all over the fire gun off, but you can do so much good things. So much good things. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Let's walk on the fire, Gunolf. I have since changed my mind. He -ya! So cool, Gunolf. Okay, let's see. One, two. Hey, right, Eric's one away from getting that promote. No, no, no. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, two. Good. You have a willpower. 
Let's use it and make him die. Pokey stick. Pillage! I thought it was already pillage. Maybe it said something else. I don't know. I wouldn't pay no attention. What do you take me for? Someone who pays attention? I don't know. Shoot an arrow. Oh, my face. Uh. Some ogres up there. Gun okay. Gunoff's going. Let's move you over here then. And you can do a lovely smack to his shield, which is great. And Moger can move over here, because he's cool. Way to go, Moger. Hmm. Eric, get off you. What if I have you get... Yeah, okay. I'm doing this strategically. <laughs> then Eric can be like, No, I'm over here, guys. He's a, he's a rally for you. Yeah, see that? I gave him a rally. But you feel good about that, don't you? Oh! Cool. Because Face Halt needs to catch up with the rest of these guys. Hey, my renowned Rose. Moger! Gun ult? Really? Gun ult? Dang. Er, I don't have enough renown for this. Come on, guys. Ooh. Eight. Can I have more for saving these guys now? Can I have like 30? Oh, there we go. As the fighting wraps up, one of the Varl puts his axe away and puffs on a pipe. Haken, he greets you. Glad you saw our signal. He explains that they had come from Schlid and were surrounded. He spotted you in the distance and lit a fire to draw your attention at the risk of drawing the dredge as well. Back at the caravan, their sizable detachment joins your ranks. Good decisions. Let's camp. Because I want... I want that green face, not that blue-green face. Yeah. And now to figure out what to do with all of this renown that I need to waste. How much does it take to get you to... All of it. Sorry, Gunolf. I like you a lot, but I gotta level up these other guys, too. Like, face alt. He's, he at least needs to be ranked 2. Uh, exertion's great, and needing more strength. Indeed. Indeed. Hello. What you gonna do with me, boss? Oh, Boy, I would prefer to give that to Haken. Ooh, shield, yes. And... Hmm, more shield. Yes, I like it. Now I have zero renown. All right, Luden, you can come back. I just want to use face alt. Because it's fun. Because it's fun. So, let's go. Where will the snowy wasteland lead, now that we have like 200 more Varl with us? Mogur comes to you privately. I've seen some of the warriors disappearing, he says. At first thought it was my imagination, now I'm certain several have just gone missing. Mostly men, but some Varl too. Can't quite figure it. If it's abandonment, you can't let it stand. Have more questions once it returned, demand answers personally, make an example of you, ask Luden... Duh. People need to know that I'm a strong leader, so I gotta stand up and demand answers personally, probably. Hello. Call all the named Varl to your tent and demand an explanation. They tell you they saw Luden's men going back to the wrecked wagon to gather gold and followed. They admit to taking some for themselves. Uh... I really don't have a problem with that. So I'll dismiss them and speak with Luden. I ordered it, says Luden, when you confront him. I sent my men to bring back gold from the cart you left behind. If you have a problem with your warriors joining them, maybe you should keep them under control. Well, Luden, maybe you shouldn't be such a butt. Um, pummel him in his stupid face. <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's talk about this. You left a pile of gold at the bottom of a hill, says Luden. What are the chances it'll still be there months from now? The only reason we aren't each carrying a share is because you don't trust us. Threaten him if he doesn't stop, demand he turn over loot. As much of a jerk face as Luden is, I don't want to antagonize him. Uh, and both of these seem rather antagonistic. Um, I don't... Uh, no. 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 He says I'm flinching. I saw Moger's face. It was confusing. Moger pulls you aside. He has no claim to the gold, but he takes no orders from us either. Like it or not, he's an equal. Though repay us when this is over and you'll look the better for it. Eh, yeah, back down. 
You have no doubt in Luden's mind that another stunt like this won't end peacefully. He shrugs indifferently. Yeah, see, Luden likes to act all tough. Hey, don't be good, be great. He likes to act all tough, but he's kind of a scaredy pants, so your warriors demand a break. Jeez. I took like three rests on the way here, guys. You halt the caravan with a sigh, but in all honesty, you're starting to feel the altitude and weariness yourself. Moger leans on a fallen tree, fiddling with a crust of bread. Getting colder, he says, staring into the distance. You can see Ridgehorn just start to peek around the mountains. A flock of ravens float across a clear sky toward the fort. We should follow these birds. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Why? Without another word, Moger starts running towards the birds and tumbles over the cliff. Suddenly, he's gliding through the air, flapping his arms for all their worth. He swoops toward Ridgehorn before bursting to flames and plummeting into the tower, which crumbles like a log from a smoldering campfire. I think I was dreaming. Or Moger's. Oh, yep, there you go. You think you've lost your mind. <laughs> then you wake up. You don't remember setting up camp or falling asleep in front of cracking logs. What's going on? You mutter. Moger approaches you at the campfire. Hey, kid, did you see? He starts. Yeah. You both agree to keep it to yourselves. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's, yeah, let's take a rest. Everyone's great. Let's go. All right. So, uh, Moger turned into a bird. Something lit on fire and he crashed into a tower. I know someone who likes fire and likes to burn birds. I'm sure you've seen them, Moger says, but we're being followed. Judge a bit on our asses since we left the Godstone. Lots of them. I'm sure there's plenty in front of us, too. But we're just half a day out from thick woods. We might lose them there. Uh, I don't want to... Yeah, stop. Stop and fight. Okay. All right, of the warriors. Careful, Haken. This isn't the time to start taking risks. That's precisely what I'm doing by stopping these guys, because I think it'll be more of a risk if you let them follow us into the woods. Charge. Rush to battle. Let's go. See, I'm thinking smartly about this. Or at least I'm trying to. Plus, I need more renown to promote my guys. So I'm willing to take risks if it gets me more renown. Okay. Oh, I do not like that there are two big sword dudes up there. I also don't like Eric just standing there in the middle of all that. So let's put Haken there. Yeah, I'll take out the stronger one. Uh, okay, then it's Moger. Um, Eric, you're great and all. I'm going to do my usual plan with Eric and Luden. Take out the little guys. Gonolf could be in the middle. Gonolf will figure out what to do with him. So, yep, let's go. War! What is it good for? Getting renowned. That's what it's good for. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't put Ursa there for you to smack her, okay? Gosh. Break your shields. Oh, he's got a little pouch. What's up with that? What's up with that? Oh. My plan is flawless. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Gunolf. I like you. Okay. I need to make sure you stop doing what you're doing. That's just rude. You know? You know? Ha. Huh. Okay. Let's go here. <laughs> you have exertion. Good. Very good. Um, there's really no good place for me to slag and burn. So, yes. Can I do that? You can do it, Ursa. Dang it. That's okay, Ursa. Oh, he's just gonna... He's gonna pull the string that makes his sword vibrate. Um... I mean, how about you just don't do that? Just stop it. Yeah. That's all I have to say to you. Just don't. Um, okay. There's a guy just right in my face. So, he's gonna get a mace to the face. Um... Gunolf... Uh, oh, whatever. Yeah, just, just smack him normally. All is well. And then Eric to the rescue. He's gonna kill this one because he's strong. Oh, 
He's gonna... Vroom. Pulled the string, now his sword's vibrating. What a cool guy. Okay, let's see. I don't want to put Luden, like, in the middle of all of them. So let's do this. Yes, very good. I like this. And Ursa... She can kind of hide behind these guys. Do a little slag and burn right there, so if anyone walks up towards that. That's all good. Ah, walk up, walk up. Yeah! Flawless plan! <laughs> um, you know, uh, I just wanted to say to your other friend, uh, what you're doing is really weird, so uh, stop it. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> oh, fine. Doesn't look like he's hurt, he just looks disgruntled and annoyed. Ugh, hit my shield. Oh, this got so annoying. Alright, Gunolf, you weaken these fellows so that other people can get the experience that they need. Who's this? Eric. Great. Uh, then it's... There. Wait, what happened? What? Uh, Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. I'm gonna rally him. Hey, hey, you see that dredge? I gave him some willpower. Is that good? Oh no, it's <laughs> no. I was trying to prevent that. Well, no, no, that is unnecessary, Luden. Just, just poke him and get it over it. There you go. Doof. Oh, doof. All right, Hakens is gonna. Mosey on over there, do a good old amount of nothing. And then Moger's gonna mosey on over here, make do that, make do that. Uh, Gunolf, I don't want you to take all the experience, but just be, just because you're super powerful. Okay, let's see. Yes, I like this, because then Luden can get some experience. Oh, yeah. Take a moment, blah, 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 nope. I'm out of here. Out of here. Minus one fighters and 11 Varl. Oh no, I took risks. My 11 out of 1,000. Oh well. Renown, please. Yes. Yes. That's what I like. And we go. At least they won't be falling into the woods. I do need to rest for poor old uh, Ursa. But I'll go a little bit farther. Deep inside the woods, you get the distinct sense that Dredge have more or less surrounded you, and in great numbers. I fought them so they wouldn't do that. The dark shapes create unsettling patterns as they slide between the trees in every direction. Can they slide in the direction that's away from me? At least it's not as bad as it could have been if you hadn't taken out a good portion of them already, you think to yourself. You call Moga around. Uh, we're gonna wait them out. What do you say, Moga? Yeah, pretty whatever god you like. There's more of them waiting on the other side of the woods than we've seen so far. We may be seriously outnumbered, especially if we wait. Ursa appears unexpectedly. What if, she says, patting her arrows knowingly, you could set part of the... W wait. Oh, I think there's supposed to be a quote there. I, maybe. What if, she says, patting her arrows knowingly, you could set part of the woods on fire to draw their attention while you escape, or try to draw them into a trap? Was this your idea, you ask? She shrugs innocently. Ooh. I like that. Wait. I should have thought about that more. Varl don't like fire. <laughs> I'm in a bunch of trees with 1,000 of our... Uh-oh. Well, let's hope this goes well. You create a line of shield bangers on these volleys of arrows in their direction, luring frustrated swaths of them into the trees. At your command, Ursa flings flaming arrows into key locations. Trees erupt and fire spreads quickly. Many fall immediately, but the Varls start to lose their nerve. Soon the caravan is in disarray, some fighting, others fleeing from the growing inferno. Ursa has vanished. Luden rushes past in a state of terror. You break from the trees, hoping to regroup. Yeah. Should have thought about that more. Where is Ursa? Behind you, Varl are following your lead. They're not as many as you had hoped. Pfft, well, I lost 35. The dreads distracted by the fire have thankfully not yet noticed your escape. I isn't she with you? Don't... Did you make her do it? Where is she? I didn't make her do anything. It was her idea. 
Luton stares into the flames, face blank. He's trying hard not to show what this means to him. A miserable moment lingers. We've got to get out of here, Haken. We bought minutes, at the most. We don't know it sh that she's gone anyway. Maybe she'll catch up to us. Mogar gathers, gathers the others. Someone drags Luden again, along against his will, but you hear no outburst or insults. It's almost worse that way. Hmm. What have I unleashed? Hey, people are still happy. So it all worked out great, right? Oh, hello. That's neat and interesting. Alright, let's camp. <laughs> now that we're past the forest fire, and Ursa seems to have mysteriously gone missing, let's rest. It's okay, she was injured anyway. So now I didn't even need to wait for her to get better. Uh, What are you, Gris? Strong arm. Right, you're like the other guy. Percy's a warhawk. Let's get face all here. I have 10 renown. Mogur, you're still level 2. You need to be level 3. You're a good man, Mogur. I need you to get get even better. Uh, yes, and yes. I feel like I haven't really had a problem with lack of willpower, so that's good. Yeah. Well, that was a pretty eventful episode, so I may have made some hasty decisions involving fires and lots of trees, but besides that, I think I'm doing pretty good. So, I'm going to stop this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you like the videos I've been creating, I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Catch you later.